All right, so I bought the Clovis frameless dual sliding shower doors. And the first thing, when I open the instructions, there's pictures, and although it says there's five Allen wrenches, I only found two in mine. So far, all I've needed are two. Uh, I don't see anything else that requires any different ones. You see here, I have no clue really what this is. This one here looks like you're installing tracks, which freaked me out because I only received one track. I don't know what the cockeyed equals sign is. Um, but I'm not anything more than a regular DIY anyways. Just various pictures. More pictures, no instruction, no explanations, no avoid this, no be careful with that. Um, I think the box, the glass doors came in, said to be careful with the glass doors and not set them on uh, bare floor without being protected. Uh, I've watched some other videos prior to getting these, so I know I've got this set down styrofoam that came with the box. The box was pretty beat up. The shower door wasn't broken, but when I got it out and up here, I noticed a little weirdness up here on the corner. Um, and then on this side, it's like a sliver on the other side is broken out right on the back side. Again, it's not something you really notice because that's going to go against the wall anyways. The other door turns out, and I thought there were two doors in this box. So I was a bit surprised when I opened it and only found one door. <clears throat> Started looking on my Amazon stuff and I seen that the package was undeliverable. And then I looked on the shower door box and there was supposed to be three boxes. This was two of three. My hardware was likely one of three or three of three. I don't know which. So after discussing with them, they can't just send me another shower door. I have to order the whole unit, have them deliver it. And then I have to go through a return on the original one for missing or damaged parts. And then they have to turn around and come pick it up. And take it back but I gotta have the original packaging and when I unpackage this box it was there but there was really no way it was gonna package back up and be able to get back to the factory without being broken so when they ship the other to me if both doors get here one of them can go back or if both of them look better than this one depending on how I feel I may just box this one back up and send it to them and keep the other two. Uh, we'll see what kind of a pain that is. I feel they should put wood in the side of their boxes around the door frames and things like that to help uh, that nylon tape or whatever it is that goes around them, the white thin strip that's glued together that keeps the boxes together because those were really eaten through the boxes. So anyways, got that, and I'll deal with it later at some point. Um, one of the things that I had to do for mine was find out where I wanted this to be. Obviously, one of the doors is going to come here. I wanted to maximize as much space inside the shower itself. This is just a regular tub enclosure that I ripped out. Uh, and had someone tile it and I went curbless so I'm not real gung-ho with this and I don't know if I'm going to keep the whole thing or cut it right to here so that there's nothing going this way I'm not sure yet uh, I'm going to put it in all in one piece and see how it goes see how the water gets there I definitely don't want water coming out I don't want it to clean it up my pan comes out to about here anyways, but I still don't want water getting in there. This comes with a screw in the middle, um, but 
that's under my pan and this line right here uh, from here over is the pan itself from here back is where the liner is laid over to help protect and keep that water under control um, everything I've read is you don't screw anything into the pan um, even though there's a couple inches down there in the pan I could probably get away with putting a screw in there even if it did leak uh, it'll be able to get to the drain through the seep hole uh, as long as that was done right but I don't want to take any chances I'm just going to silicone that down uh, once I get the door in place and make sure that that's lined in the right direction and that the door is free in it I'll mark around it then I'll take the door off silicone the back of it silicone the back of this set it in place and let it dry the door you just lift up and place into this track and then you're gonna it's gonna hang over the wheel will hang over the bar that's gonna go up here now the first thing that happened when I opened the hardware box was I found this and it's silver and that freaked me out a bit it looks like a track um, I ordered the matte black so after a little bit of panic and going through the other stuff the other stuff was matte black but I still didn't know what the hell this was for turns out this is a template and you place it on the floor put a level against the side and right there you're able to mark your holes and this is what holds the bar so pretty nifty right there for you it, it really saves a lot of measuring double measuring and whatnot but the only problem I had with it because I wanted to maximize my space um, this fits right inside this so and there's a little bit of play when the rubber stoppers are not in so even though you get the holes right you have to kind of hold this up and make sure or if you're not too picky and you can measure you know from here to here and be fine but my problem is from this usable space over and this usable space over are two different lengths um, so I had to be real careful where I put those holes so I could get the most out of my usable space on both sides uh, and still have that work yours might be a lot easier than mine and of course the walls aren't plumb and it's wider down at the bottom than it is up here at the top. Um, the bar right here is just a hollow tube and inside it is aluminum I-beam here and it's pretty hefty and unless your shower is exactly 60 inches you're going to need to cut this and yeah that's, that's not too easy. I used a plastic yellow miter box to hold this against and I used a sawzall and <clears throat> that cut through everything was good but by the time I was finished and I got this back off of that miter box I had a bunch of scratches in the paint it just vibrated against the plastic and took the paint off so a little bit of black flat paint and that fixes that one of those things won't be noticed but it's just irritating uh, because you know it's there now this has a piece with these allen screws on it and there's a channel right up on top here and when you put this in those Allen screws are going to fit down in that channel. The bar goes through here and the same on the other side. So I had to shave about 
52 and a half inches, 57. This came at almost 59 inches. Um, so I had to shave a couple of inches down off of that. I say shave, I had to cut. <clears throat> and we'll see if that goes in as it should. And as usual, I'm going to have to shave about another half inch off of that. <clears throat> I think my tape measure hates me. But that's all it is. Uh, these up here, when you go to put them on, this screw in the middle comes out. This separates from the wheel. You put that screw back in, but it doesn't tighten. And there's this wrench on top, and that's just to hold this still. <clears throat> and when you twist, once it's all the way tight, you can continue turning it. And that works that offset on the inside that will move this wheel up, down, sideways, or whatever to ensure that, you know, it's as straight on the track as need to be, you know, based on the plumb of the walls and things like that. So all four of them have that. And then once that's complete, there's a cap that's threaded that goes on in there. Down on the bottom, those are going to be the stoppers to prevent it from being lifted and falling off. And down here are going to be the towel rack bars to open and close. So, I hope that helps somebody. Because again, the instructions were somewhat useless and non-existent. It was more just like the parts. So... I'm going to go grind this down and finish it up and hopefully my other one gets here soon so I can have two shower doors and finally be able to use this shower. Been waiting on it for a while. Maybe I'll fix my wall while I'm waiting. Thanks for watching.